Okay guys, welcome back to another episode of Unfiltered Fishing. And um, today I'm doing something a little different. I picked up one of these uh, subscription boxes. This one's uh, from Bad Fish. And, uh, I'm gonna wear the GoPro so we can see more closely to what we got here. So a uh, little story, backstory behind the, the Bad Fish box. Um, I always wanted to do one of these subscription things and I never really felt that it was probably going to be worth the money to do it. So I finally buckled down and said, uh, for the, um, for the good of, uh, of YouTube, I'll order one of these boxes. I am in no way affiliated with this company at all. They don't know me. I don't know them. Um, right off the bat, it was $29.99 plus $5 for shipping. Uh, I used a promo code off of somebody else's and got it for $15 plus $5 should be handling. So I think it was uh, $19.99 that I paid for it. So let's uh, just see, you know, how we, uh, how we do it. Now I have an openness. I did slit this already so it would make it easier. Um, and I didn't have to fumble with a knife <laughs> on camera here and cut myself and all kinds of disaster. So, without further ado, I shall open up the Bad Fish Box. Like I said, I got it, well, watched YouTube, found somebody else's promo code, and we won't say who it was, but let's, uh, let's open it up. All right, so right off the bat, uh, we have a 24-7 pencil popper. Very nice, looks like a tequila sunrise color. Um, I'm gonna say that will, uh, that will definitely catch some fish. It's got uh, some X's on the eye there, which is interesting. Um, all right, I see. So it says here, 24 seven laws and bad fish edition. So I guess 24 seven laws made this for uh, bad fish. Hardware looks pretty good. It's looking like a four X hook at least on there. I would say that this uh, 247 is a pretty good company and this war will catch fish. So, you know, there it is. There's the first thing that was in the box. Um, put you right over. Next thing I see here that we have is some Mustad Ultra Point hooks. Again, pretty decent hooks. And it's a half ounce jig head with a 4 0 hook. It says it right on there. I don't know if you guys can read that. Let me bring it a little closer. Like I said I'm switching back and forth with the big camera and, and the GoPro here. I'll probably just use the audio off of one of them. That's neither here nor there. No, not bad. So, let's see what else we got here. A, a bad fish bucktail. There's the X on the I. I guess that's going to be their trademark thing. And it looks uh, quite a bit like a Spro. It's a standard white, a little yellow, and some gold wrap. I tie my own bucktails, so I mean, I mean, I can tie these all day long if I really want to. Um, so I really don't buy bucktails in the store anymore. I have the Ultra Minnow mold, and I have other molds also. But uh, I'll put that to the side. What else do we have in here? Northeast Jig Company, and there's looking like a soft. Well, we know it's a soft plastic. They call it a ripper shad. Uh, I'm, you know what? I'm going to open these up. Open this up. Take a look at them. It's a black over purple, which is pretty good standard nighttime color. Definitely a color that I like to use at night. Black and purple. Like I said, if you can't see it on the big screen... We'll definitely have it on the big camera. We'll definitely have it on the GoPro to take a look at. All right, so what else do we have in here? We have a koozie. All right. From Bad Fish. Uh, all right, so this is the law breakdown of everything. All right, so that's the captain's box. Captain's box. You don't get that stuff. So we got no fluorocarbon, and we got no usury top knot pencil in this box. We only have what's in here so far. Uh, 24-7 Lures Fish Stick, Norris Jig Company Ripper Shads, Must Add Ultra Light Jig Point Heads, Ultra Point, I'm sorry, not Ultra Light, Must Add Ultra Point Jig Heads, 
uh, bad fish, bad bucktail, and the bad fish koozie, which they have down is priceless. As you can see, let me get that a little close. You should be able to see. All right. You know what? I don't know if you're going to be able to read the prices. Well, you should. So they got the pencil popper down is $19. Um, the ripper shad's down is 5 Ultra Point Jig Head, 6 And the Bucktail, 6 So they're saying that's 12 Plus 5 is 17 Plus 19 So they're saying... MSRP, $36, $36, uh, you get a sticker, and that's a little rockfish, now, when you do sign up, they do give you an option for either Northeast or Southeast edition, um, I don't know what that little guy is, but I, that's looking like something maybe they catch in California, but not in New York, so interesting, and we have a bad fish flag, So I guess if I had a boat, which I don't, we could use that. And we also have a You're Fishing your Magazine on the water. And try a free issue. Okay, well, I guess you could send them for that. All right, I'm going to give uh, my honest opinion is that you could most likely go to the store or a tackle shop and get this stuff for probably cheaper than, than $36. Um, at the price of $20, I consider this a good deal. So what I paid for it, good deal. If I would have paid $35 and got this in the mail, I probably would not have been happy. Not for one, two, three, four pl soft plastics, three jig heads, a bucktail, and a pencil pop. I'm not taking away from anything from it at all, but... To me, honestly, I don't think it's a good deal. For $20, yes, good deal. For $36 delivered or $35.99 delivered, mm, I don't know. I think you'd do a lot better at a tackle shop, do a lot better going right to Dex to get it. My honest opinion. That's my honest opinion. Whether anybody else, you know, agrees with that or not, different story. So... There you have it. There is the Bay Fish unboxing. I was going to do like a challenge, but I just didn't have time to do that and everything else this weekend. So if you want to see me do a challenge with these, which I probably could figure out and see if I could do a Bay Fish box challenge and wipe out all these, uh, wipe out all these lovely things in a day, leave a comment down below and I will do a challenge with the box. I will go out and uh, it's gonna probably have to be a daytime nighttime thing because these I'm gonna wanna use at night and these I'm probably gonna pair with that and this will probably do like a fluke or something because it, like, to me that's a bit small for any of the striper fishing that I do. And that's a daytime plug. You got, well, not that you can't use this at night, but this I would use during the day and this I would use during, during the night. So that would be like a, a two-parter. So again, comment down below if you want to see me do, well, maybe we'll get Nicole involved and we'll do like a challenge between the two of us. But leave a comment down below. Tell me what you want me to do with the box. Tell me if you like the video. Guys, if you like these videos, please subscribe, comment, like, give it a like. I'm trying to do some different things. I really wanted to film on Monday. I didn't. I didn't take out the GoPro. I was into a pretty good bluefish bite with bucktails. And I really should have took the GoPro out and filmed that because, uh, that would have been a good technical aspect video just on working a bucktail. But I promise I will in the future do a bucktail video, working bucktails in uh, quick water, fast water with the bucktail, which is what I did on Monday. Like I said, I really regret not running the video, but it was Memorial Day. Another thing I want to say thank you to all our vets out there that are watching. You guys gave the ultimate sacrifice so that we can be here doing what we're doing now. So thank you very much for that. Um, and again, guys, thanks for watching. And if you liked the video, give it the old thumbs up. And please, subscribe to the channel. Hey, guys, thanks. Have a good one. I just drove a box of the camera or something.